Introducing Friendly S. Good morning Primary 2 and welcome to your first phonics lesson of home learning where we're going to introduce you to a new sound today. We're going to be looking at the friendly letter S. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to share our learning intention and success criteria with you and then we're going to go over some activities that will help you to learn our new sound but also some games that you might be able to play at home as well. So our learning intention is we are learning to identify and recognise words with the friendly s sound. Our success criteria is I can listen for words in a video which have the friendly letter s. I can recognise the friendly letter within a word and our last one is I can read and write words with the friendly letter s sound. Okay, that is our success criteria and our learning intention for today. Just as in school, when we're learning a new sound, we are going to let you listen and watch a short video and we would like you to see if you can identify the words with the friendly letter S that our friend here might say. My name is Mr Thorne and you are watching Mr Phonics. Today I have got a pair of friendly letters for you and here they are. Now the double S still only makes one S sound, and here they are blending some words for you. Hmm, it's miss. Oh, F's less. B ops box. Here are some more. Press pause now for some thinking time. Can you think of any words that might have the friendly s in them? Mrs McGonagall, over to you. Can you think of a word with the friendly s in it? It might be in the middle of the word, or it might be at the end of the word. Not usually does a friendly letter come at the beginning of a word, usually in the middle or the end. I wonder if you can think of a word. Well, as I was watching Miss Beatty there, Miss Beatty had to press the pause button to stop the video. So my first word is press. Over to you, PT. We're going to give you a couple of seconds. Can you maybe think of a word? Maybe share it if somebody is standing beside you just now. A word that has the friendly s in it. Boys and girls, also, if you have a whiteboard or a scrap piece of paper, you could maybe use that too. If you need some more thinking time, press pause on our video now. If not, we're going to move on. S chess Can you think of any more? Boys and girls, well done. I think you did really well with our new sound there, the friendly s. We're going to do a few more activities with you now so that we can keep practicing the sound. Miss Beatty, my words are all in a muddle. Maybe all your letters are jumbled up. We have got four pictures on our screen and I hope you can see them nice and clear. At the top, we've got a picture of a bedroom and I hope no one's bedroom looks like this. This bedroom here, Mrs McGonnell, is a mess. It's a mess. Don't like mess. We've also got somebody pressing a button. We've got the word press. A very pretty dress. And our last one here is kiss. kiss. So Mrs McGonagall, your job is, can you find the letters to make these words? Now, one thing you'll have to do before you start, when you look at the picture, I want you to say it out loud. And then I want you to find out where the friendly s is in that word. It will either be at the beginning, but remember what I said about friendly letters at the beginning? It might be in the middle, or I'm going to sit on my hands to show that it might be at the bottom. So that's up to you. You need to figure out the beginning, the middle, or the end. Do you think I can do it, boys and girls? I'm not so sure. You might need to help me. So my first picture was a mess. So, mm. My next sound is a. Eh. And then I know that I've got my 
friendly. So I'm going to put my two at the end. So m e s. Show me. Where's the friendly letter? It's not at the top. No. Nope. It's not at the middle. I think I need to sit on my hands because it's at the end. Thumbs up, Mrs. McGonagall. Next one. My next picture is press. So I have to find the p sound. P. R. Looking good. E. And again, my two friendly letters together go Now, boy, uh, boys and girls, you know what I've noticed, and I'm sure Miss Beattie knows this too, but if I can spell mess, I can spell press. They've got the same letters at the end, mess and press. <clears throat> and again, Miss Beattie, I think it's at the end of the word, so I would have to sit on my hands. You again. are right, it is at the end. Now, my last, uh, my next picture with the same kind of ending is dress, so d. Sometimes Miss McGonagall people think maybe dress starts with j. It sounds a little bit like that. Sometimes mm -hmm. dress. It does. So important we emphasise the d. d. So dress. Dress. D. R. E. S. S. Thumbs up. And again, it's at the end of the word, so I would sit on my hands. My last word is k. E. Because I have got a kiss. There we go. Kiss. That is exactly how we use our blending skills. We think of the letter that comes at the beginning. So when Mrs McGonagall's kiss, she knew k was at the beginning. What letter is in the middle of Mrs McGonagall's last word? K. It's e. And then s. And we blend together. K. S. And we end on our friendly letter. That was super. It was super. Good now, job. in your home learning packs for today, boys and girls, you have got a read and roll activity. And Miss Beattie and I are just going to show you exactly how to play this read and roll. And this might be quite helpful if you're playing with maybe mum and dad at home and they've not played a read and roll with you. So you can show mum and dad exactly how to play this read and roll. So Miss Beattie's going to roll the dice to me. And I am going to catch it, and that's going to tell me which root, uh, list of s words I'm going to read. If you do not have a dice at home, if you go online, you will find, if you just type into Google, interactive dice, you'll be able to click a button and it will roll the dice for you. So do not worry if you haven't got a dice at home. This is how we begin. We have player one and player two. So player one is going to go first, so Miss is going to roll the dice. My number is six. So I'm going to look at my grid and I'm going to find the number six and I'm going to read the words. A, uh, s, fuss, m, e, s, mess, k, e, s, kiss, p, a, s, pass. Hiss. And Miss Beatty, could you maybe make a sentence with one of the words that I had just read? Oh, I am going to. Let me have a look at the words on the bottom row. I am going to pick the word mess. And I'm going to say Miss Beatty doesn't like any mess. Neither does Mrs McGonagall. I don't like mess either. Mm. No. So it's Miss Beattie's shot to catch the dice now and I'm going to roll it to Miss Beattie. She's going to catch it and I wonder what number she will get. Oh, number two. An even number. I've landed on number two. So I'm going to find number two on my roll and read mat. Here it is here. And I'm getting ready to sound out my word using my best blending skills. So let's start at the beginning. Mmm. A s mass t e s tes. Now that there's got a capital letter, boys and girls, that's a capital T. So that's making Miss Beatty think that's somebody's name. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the name of somebody. 
Next we have less. O -e -s. Boss. B -o -s. And the last one. E -s. Over to you, Mr. McGonagall. Well, lots of interesting words there. Mm. Can you put one of those into a sentence? I think I'm going to choose the word hiss. And it's going to be the snake went hiss in the long grass. Oh, I like that you used the word long. You added in an adjective to describe the grass. I wonder if you can add any adjectives into your sentence. I bet you can, boys and girls. That is the end of our phonics lesson. Thank you so much for listening for that whole time because that's a long time that you've been sitting and watching. But hopefully you've been learning and joining in with Mrs McGonagall and Miss Beattie. Good luck with your roll and read. Remember, you can upload any pictures onto your assignment page. Have your best shot at it and good luck learning your first new sound during home learning. We know you are going to smash it. You are. Good luck, boys and girls.